As always, boys, it's all about fucking commitment today as well, right? Those first up hits, warm up has not been the best. Let that frustration out in that first contact. We're uphill, first half, so it's all about fucking effort, okay? So we can make that second half a lot easier, all right? So name those hits on this kickoff. If you're catching, catch it, run it back, make an impact, all right? It's all about working off the floor, all right? All this stuff that is fucking simple, doesn't take any skill, it's just getting up quickly, going to making those tackles, lining up, work those pods, all that kind of stuff, boys. Work for your mates, all right? That's going to be the difference, always is at this level. Is you taking short balls off me, off Ollie, and just hitting rucks hard, smashing through them, obliterating them, and letting them know how we want to play our rugby, okay? If they wake up and go, fuck me, that's going to be that for 80 minutes, that's how Minute 40, minute 50, 60, 70, we earn the right to go wide and we kill them. Okay, because we've got the gas out wide, okay, but it's no point giving to them early doors if they if that's all they expect. So we're gonna go hard through the middle, you just run your lines fucking hard, you make your chat, you chop them hard, okay, because then they tire, then they shit their pants, then you want it upstairs. Once you want it upstairs, the rest can take keep care of Keep our ball, so. keep our ball, hit them rocks. Alright, let's not overcommit, because that kills us in games. We call it for pods and no one's there. So make sure you listen to that ice, get yourself useful, think next job. Right. Um, it's a simple game we put it down to. Simple things, okay. Um, support the ball pack, ball carrier. Get those pods there, okay. Ball retention, go again, go again. Just trust the process. Okay, if we get knocked back in a couple, just keep going, keep going, because that's a hard, that style of play is a hard way to defend because you keep going, you keep going. Big ball, ball carries, big, big ball carries, okay. So let's just make sure we focus on getting over that gain line. Let's get on the front foot and then keep playing, okay. Play in the right areas. If we do kick, make sure our kick chase is wide and we fill the pitch. Work the your guts off. If they kick over the top, work your guts off to get back, okay, and our kick chase is flat. Yeah, Alright, so let's do that. Yeah. One quick yeah. squeeze, boys. Get in, one Eyes quick up, squeeze. Guys. Let's get some fucking oh, intensity. Come on, boys. get some oh, fucking boy. aggression going. Now. Let's get out there and fucking hit them hard. All right, there's been fucking pussy footing around in that warm up. Get your eyes up, look at the lads in front of you, and let's get out there and fucking smash them. One, two, three, squeeze! Come on, oh, right. 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 UCS Old Boys are on an unbeaten streak that stretches all the way back to September and they return to UCS playing fields with Actonians, the visitors, as a front line of Cohen, Warren, Casey, Pope and Lewis just behind, Roche, Harper and Sabchi make up the scrum in the side picked by Will Jones this afternoon back in familiar territory. Actonians have been struggling to put more than one win on the board in a row. They've yet to record successive victories so far this season in the county's Hertfordshire Middlesex third league. Raymond is the scrum half, Bosch the fly half, Graham and Silk the centres with Hamilton on the left hand side, Bayer on the right and Palajowski is the fullback. Plenty of replacements as well for the men in Burgundy this afternoon. Not least Asher Glynn, Matthew Bradshaw, Sasha Koblewski, Paul Dillon and Diego Garces de Marcia. Actonians, a good side, could provide a real threat to the hosts this afternoon. They are five points behind UCS, but in their number 11, Johnny Tolan, they have a really potent weapon that can provide the UCS defensive unit some real problems. And it'll be Actonians to get us started. It's a good take initially from Chris Pope from the kickoff. And there's the combative Daniel Roche. Powering them forward back up towards the halfway line. Early burst up towards the halfway line again from UCS. I'll try and work it towards the left hand side. And they'll have the penalty too. So it's an offside. Good territory gained here by UCS early on in the contest. taken from the line out they'll try and build the driving more but Roche is taken to ground and recycle this all bodies pile in free a close sight they're up to the line and that's a knock-on says this afternoon's referee Tonians with the scrum on their own goal line Clocked out and lifted downfield. Really good hands there from Konyad Palajowski. He's got his side 20 metres further forward. 
Johnny Harper bundling in. Raymond to Bosch. That's a good ball to Graham. Now to the outside, Ben Byer trying to make ground. Bit of traffic there though. A line out to UCS. Taken by Warren. Trying to bundle this over the line with the rolling mall. And the referee gives the try to UCS and it's Johnny Harper. It was good hands initially to put it into the chest of Harper. And the sheer weight of bodies just couldn't be dealt with by Axonians. UCS strike first. Tonians to recover their own kickoff. <laughs> Patient here, still plenty of time. Flicked out and it's a driving run through the middle, trying to puncture a hole through this UCS defence. That's one fired in behind. Palajowski's got there. Doesn't have the space to kick from that position. Taken to ground, but UCS get bodies back in support. This time it's looped downfield by Luca Raymond. Matt Wilson takes it down. Here's Johnny Tolan bursting through and out to the wide area, and he'll touch this down for the response that Actonians were looking for. It was wonderful hands from Wilson initially. Came under pressure from Ben Byer. But Johnny Tolan has jets in his heels and showed a clean pair of them. It's level pegging. Tommy runners inside. Palajowski almost lost that, but Hamilton was there to help him out. Layman finds Oli Bosch. Still battling for the ball here at UCS. Referee will pull them up. Great work, UCS. Great work. A bit of pause for treatment. Scrum's been pretty strong so far from UCS, and once again, Raymond can flick this to Oli Bosch. Tries the. Offload as he was going to ground. Still, UCS retained possession. It's Johnny Harper. Now Graham. Bosch. Back into a central area from Raymond. Harper recovers the ball for UCS. A sloppy pass from Fraser Warren. Now Actonians have a chance to have some possession here. He's just keeping their eye on Tolan on the left hand side. Come out with the ball, it was Alex Graham. Actonians struggling with the scrum, and once again, UCS show their power. And win themselves the penalty as well. A little tap and go from Raymond. Went past one. Didn't make too much ground, but for the halfway line now, bursting forward. It's Chris Pope. It's broken loose. It's collected by Warren again. Jonathan Case. Tainted ball slipped in behind. There's Graham with a touch. And we're going to try and latch onto this. It's a really important intervention from the Actonians back row. And they can clear the danger, at least temporarily. Ben Bayer. Rode the challenge and went to ground. Here is Roche. Commits more Actonians defenders. The shout is left 
Raymond obliges. So, a little knock on there. And the momentum ebbs away from the home side. It's an unorthodox put into the scrum. It's worked out in the end for Actonians. And they'll try and chip one forward. Once again, there's Alex Graham mopping up. Hamilton trying to get up ahead of speed. Crunching challenge on the winger. Ball is there to be played by UCS, and they will do so. Raymond waiting for his options. It's Jonathan Case. This time Raymond will loop one out of play. Into the bushes. And the referee blows the whistle for half-time. Scrappy first half, but an even one. It's UCS 5, Actonians 5. Boys, that last five minutes of effort, fucking good. It starts to look like we're knowing what we're doing. We're getting into the positions better. Good carries, clean rucks. We're causing problems everywhere we go, boys, all right? And it's only going to get better this second half. Downhill. That effort, I want to match that for the rest of this game, yeah? Getting off the floor, setting your pods, getting around the corners, icing those rucks. It's been massive. We've always got people in the way of them, boys. Fucking brilliant. We've got to keep that intensity up for this half, yeah? And we've still got subs to come on to add extra, yeah? That first 30, I'm disappointed in my performance and a lot of boys should be. We're far better than that, clinically. We've got a lot more to fucking give. And if you just put it over your jumper and make sure you have your yards and back your mate, hopefully we can do something the next phase, but we don't need to sling passes. But we really have to, as soon as this whistle goes, we really have to fucking switch on. And it means aggression, discipline and policing it. We are beating them up up front. We just need that sort of cohesion as a team to really make the impact. Yeah, but it's just little mistakes that are holding off up at this moment. Just a drop pass there, an unnecessary offload here. Okay, boys, as Ray said, let's keep it tight. Let's blitz through them this first 10 minutes of this half, yeah? Hold on to the ball, punish them, the and pick, then we're going to break. The pick and goals will really work. Yeah, Chris Pope a couple of times, and that gives us the momentum. 100%. And then that's, that, that's better than passes in midfield. Let's yeah, earn that right to go wide. Yeah. Let's just have a, make sure we've had our head up, because a couple of times they've only got one in the backfield and he's on one side. So we exploit mm. that. But that'll only work if our kick chase is good. Okay? I know it's tempting to run up and chase the ball and chase everyone go to there, but just back the person that's in line with the ball to run up and we all like run up as a flat line. Then we play two in the backfield, so if they do kick back to us, we then run. It turns into a territory game. Absolutely. Okay, just back ourselves with a kick chase. Um, when we are setting up our pods, it's going well. I think try and set up our pods outside the 10 now. Okay. They're, yeah, defi yeah. they're defending um, quite well around the ruck. Okay, so they're defending quite well around the ruck, but they're, they're quite, they can be quite lazy with their big ups and forwards. So they want you to run into off that one, that sort of X channel. Let's maybe try and go in the Y channel and then turn that into quick ball. Um, when we are defending, when we are defending, obviously the great hits and great hits going in and tackling, obviously our um, scramble defence is awesome as well. If we're in a ruck, if we're in a ruck and we've done nothing, okay, we might have gone for the fourth hit. Don't just stand or join that bloody ruck. Get in the defensive line and they're spread out. Okay, don't, I've, a couple of times I've seen six or seven people in one ruck. If you've lost the ball, you've lost it, right, let's pan out and then spread out. That That's ice when we win the game. That ice okay, yeah. play in the right areas. Some changes at half time for the hosts, UCS. Asher Glynn, Matthew Bradshaw, Sasha Koplevsky. Paul Dillon and Diogo Garces de Marcia are all on for Palajowski via Silk, Case and Raymond. And they're making good ground here, UCS. Hamilton trying to fight his way through. He's held up enough by Actonians. Here's Garces de Marcia. Fix that to Wally Bosch. And the referee will give UCS the chance to go into an early lead in this second half. De Marcia makes no mistake with a penalty attempt. Let's give them a three point lead. And it was a central opportunity. And one that player of the quality of Diego Garces de Marcia. It's never going to pass up. Yeah, 
It's a rare mishandle. That's a loopy pass from Taylor and Hamilton's latched onto this. Tolan trekking him all the way. Aaron Hamilton threatening to add another one onto the scoreboard and will do so. He spotted the pass. It was a loopy one from Zach Taylor. And there was acres of space for the speedy Aaron Hamilton to run into. Tolan, the only Actonian with the pace to really keep up with him. And he almost got there. Just didn't have the strength to take Hamilton to ground in time. It's an eight-point lead for UCS. Can Marcia extend it? Yes, he can. That's a wonderful effort with the conversion from the touchline. UCS now lead by 10. He's impressed since coming off the bench in this second half. And his radar is certainly in with these kicks. He's yes with the line out. Take it cleanly as well. Rush with the offload. Graham trying to bundle his way through. Here's Daniel Roche. Coming in to help him out. Let's see his pass is blocked. And the scrum. But the UCS is... Once again, it's standing up to the task very well. We'll see it to Sasha Koplevsky. Thundering challenge to stop him, it had to be. Antonians will win themselves the penalty. Toland sets off in pursuit. It's Glynn's kick, which is the response back towards Actonians. Directed by Taylor. Actonians trying to bundle their way through. Here's Taylor with a crossfield ball whipped out towards that right flank, trying to put UCS under a bit of pressure here. They've dealt well with it defensively deep inside their own half. Actonians with the penalty. Try and get on with it quickly. Defending well on their own goal line here. UCS, another tap and go. Another whistle from the referee. It's Graham in there quickly for UCS. Need to hold up here, UCS. Need to show their defensive nous. Tonians with a head of steam. Roche came away with it. Just going to pull it back again. And a word for Alex Graham. Getting ever closer here, Actonians. Bodies flooding forward. It's Cussons carrying forward. And the referee is given the try. UCS not happy with that decision. They think the ball was held up before it crossed the line. He's difficult to stop when he gets going, Daniel Cousins, but the referee spotted something that the hosts certainly didn't see. For their protestations, looks like a yellow card is going to be shown and it'll be Daniel Roche, who's... Uh, Sinbind. Conversion hammered over by Taylor. And the advantage has been reduced to just three points now. It's a clean take from the kickoff. Tonians continuing to commit bodies. UCS desperate to pin them in their own half here. Got a sniff of the ball yet? Have UCS. I'll try and squeeze it down the right hand side. Held up well by the men in Burgundy. It's 
a loose pass. And a knock on, says the referee. Sia drops the ball into the scrum. That's powerful work though by Actonians, and Marcia had to rush. Going through the phase as well here, UCS. Retaining possession as the time ticks closer towards the final whistle. Marcia assesses his options. It's into Bosch. Bosch into the chest of Graham, who powers through one and then two tackles, but eventually taken to ground. Marcia collects again. Bosch wants more, but the referee brings things back. Apparently, a knock on. Until the Actonians' ball. Bosch to Hamilton. Trying to break free from the tackle. Not managed to do so though. Marcia. Here comes Cohen. It's David Cohen to the line. Legs just gave way a little bit. Almost his fourth try there, David Cohen. UCS still believe they can add another try to the scoreline here. It's Bosch getting his body in there. Cohen's been ushered away from the rock. Marcia looking for the ball. Had to get involved in the end. And still held up, held up on the line here, UCS. Out towards the left-hand side. Two converge to deny UCS, and this time the penalty will be Axonians. Crossfield pass to Tolan, can't break past Hamilton, who clung on for dear life to deny the fleet-footed winger a chance to run at the fullbacks. Heaved forward. It's towards the left-hand side. Antonians has have, uh, turned the ball over. Marcia holds them up. I'll pull it back here, though. Antonians claim the line out. Inside the UCS half here. Titanic effort required from the hosts. Defensively. That's Graham with another important tackle in a central position. Taylor tries to slip one in behind for Tolan to run on to. Very nicely dealt with in the end though. By Asher Glynn. into the number eight but he's run into Daniel Roche who's back on and making his presence felt and there goes Daniel Roche once more with another gargantuan challenge full-blooded commitment here from the hosts fired forward chased by Bosch late on in the match and late on in the day Actonians running out of time and lights to try and turn this around. They try and squeeze it through the middle here. Once again, Alex Graham instrumental. They're going to try and work it round to Tolan. Tolan, it's denied. All breaks loose. Has that been kept in play? Edward Scott Bowden tries his luck. Trying to squirt round the outside Actonians, but they can't manage to do so. And an important toe to the ball. And another one there from UCS. 
Just gets the danger away temporarily. Antonians give that away. It's gonna come back at UCS though. Here's Tolan. Support to his left. Continuing to work this ball, Actonians, and trying to find these little windows of space, which get slammed shut in their face repeatedly. The replacements trying to help out Actonians here. Sliding in came Fraser Warren. Last chance saloon here, surely for Actonians. Edward Scott Bowden trying to provide a battering ramp. Here's Tolan. Tolan's got his way around the back. Tolan trying to slip through. And that's Daniel Roche. Must be the most important tackle of the afternoon so far. It was Asher Klim with the first attempt and then Daniel Roche got back in time a handful of Tolan shorts to deny them the momentum. It was carrying Tolan towards the line. UCS win the scrum. Tolan's trying to swarm but there's just too many UCS bodies there. That's chipped out of play. Surely that'll be that. And yes, says the referee, there's the final whistle. A Herculean effort defensively from UCS has earned them a really important win here. Their unbeaten streak goes on. They've beaten Actonians by 15 points to 12 at UCS playing fields in North London. The bit that really pleased me was that defensive line. OK, we could have given up a few times there, but those scrums, you know, turnover scrums, me, yeah, or in mm -hmm. that stage of the game, to really yeah. shift it like that was unbelievable. Yeah, well, so for yeah, me, well, that, was, that was a point in the game where they could have gone over, could have given up and gone through, but we didn't, OK? Game management, OK, <coughs> we're talking about playing in the right areas. We've got to get better at that, lads. We've got to get better at playing in the right areas, because we're playing teams, we're playing all the rugby, yeah. but we're still finding ourselves in a close match. OK? But that's stuff we can work on. But that grit and determination, that defence over there, that's one of the game. OK, simple as that. That period of play, those turnovers, and we played it. And we were clever enough to play the ref as well. Um, <laughs> well, no, we're not, we're, not, we're, not, we're not as bad as them, OK? So... Roshi. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I really thought you were going to get a red. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky you didn't do that. But boys, look, um, you know, we've all been ugly a few times again. That was pretty ugly. Um, but it's another win. Okay, so our goal at the end of the season is obviously to try, try and go up, win as many games as many games as possible, enjoy it. Okay, and we've done it all today. So that's a success. Let's keep this momentum now going throughout the week and then for the next game. Well done. Have a good shift. Oh, Guys, guys, big thanks to Popey stepping in at the last oh, minute. Well yeah, well boys, boys, once again, that's two league games in a row that we've just ground it out. Some real fucking grit, boys. Yeah. The season's gone by, that result would have gone different. This season, it 100%. doesn't. I asked for hard work, working for your mates at the beginning of this game, and not one of you let us down. Fucking brilliant, boys. It's cold out here. Six games under. Yeah! Go!